you on the radio, yeah, you got it. Welcome to Around the House with Eric G. This is the Midweek Special. As you know, catch this every week here on the podcast. This is where we talk about stuff that didn't show up, well, maybe in the show last weekend, maybe not in the show this weekend, but it's still important and, well, let's rant about it for a minute. We have Dane Vodder here in the Midweek Special this week. Hey, hey, what's going on? Let's have some fun here, man. This is going to be a little special edition with both of us on it and... This might just become kind of something coming up in the future here that might happen a lot more having him in the midweek special. Yeah, we might have some more time to be able to uh, fit me into some of these. Yeah, so uh, good changes ahead, so stay tuned for that. So I wanted to talk about this week, kind of my rant is in the news that broke here over the weekend about this poor lady in Spokane that unfortunately got scammed into sending her basically deposit for her home loan Two crooks, criminals, and online scammers. This is kind of a new tactic that a lot of these scammers are taking, and uh, it's working better than a lot of us probably expected. You know, this is one of those things that when you're dealing with money, you really got to slow down, especially when you're dealing with something that's ninety-eight dollars or $100,000. Absolutely. So I feel bad for her. Uh, this stuff happens. You know, these online scams happen to everybody. I mean, you even ran into one. Yeah, it's happened to me. So don't sit there and judge this lady because it happens to everybody out there. But there's some things that you can do to maybe slow down and not just throw 100000 bucks at what you thought was your mortgage broker or the escrow people or whatever. So if you're sending real money anywhere, they're going to be sending you a secure email that's not going to have hey, send me money in the title. (laughs) If it does, find out who the person you're supposed to be talking to is, call them up on the phone, or even go into the office. If I would go into the office and talk to somebody face-to-face so you know you got the right person. Take the time. Unless you just want to blow a hundred grand. Absolutely. Well, in either way, you know, and you brought up a good point. I was thinking to myself, yeah, absolutely. Just do the double check. Just give them a call and make sure that. You, but you never know. These scammers are These scammers very are good. tricky. If I'm dealing with a local escrow office or I'm dealing with a local mortgage company, your mortgage broker is going to be that person. When in doubt, call your agent who you're dealing with, who you're paying, who you're paying to do this for you, and say, hey, this seems sketchy. Let them deal with it for you. You know, they're they're there for a customer service reason, and they're going to help you as well. So lean on your agent a little bit, but make a couple phone calls. Go down and knock on the door down there. Show up and talk to the receptionist. Go, hey, am I supposed to be giving you money? Uh, you know, make sure that these things happen. And quite frankly, these things always just happen at closing. So be careful with that stuff. Now, another thing you can do to prevent these kind of calls. Well, it's a little harder when you're working from home and you've got maybe a landline. You know, you're going to get scams all over the place. But most major carriers now have some kind of call protect type app you can put on your phone. So, for instance, uh, my major carrier that I'm on, they have an app that sits there and tells me, hey, possible spam, fraud, whatever. And then when I when they have my number, I can say what it is, block it if it's not And then that goes out to everybody else, so it's just kind of a crowdfunded thing. And it adds to it. It it gives it more reliably a scam, whether or not it's a scam. Exactly. So it's super cool that way. So, And if you really want to have fun, and I've done this, mess with people, (laughs) RoboKiller. Sign up for that, and you can literally sit there, and boom. Now, all of a sudden, you're kind of messing back with those scammers. So that's another fun way to do it if you've got some extra time in your hand. I had so many that were calling in sometimes that it was time consuming and I just didn't have the time to to play around with it. So I discontinued it, but it's a good program nonetheless. So have some fun with it, but just slow down, protect yourself, especially if you're dealing with big money like in your home or any of those other things like that. This is just one of those things to to make sure. And when in doubt, bag that landline at home and go to a cell phone where you've got some more protections with it as well. Well, and for me, when, when when I ended up getting scammed, I mean, I you know, it was it was five thousand dollars, not a small yeah. amount of money, but I was able to recover from it. Yeah. When you're talking about six figures, a hundred thousand dollar down payment on a home, 
and you're in your later years. You're not a uh, you know you're not 25 and burning through money, well, or able to go out and make that money back. Exactly, you're in trouble. So that's where that stuff's going to be really tough for some people out there. So take your time, just make some good decisions, but research, verify, research and verify, and you're probably going to have some. You know, it's going to turn out well if you just spend the time, do the due diligence, and you're good to go. So we're going to be moving around our schedule coming up here next week on uh, Around the House here. So uh, I got some subjects coming. Tune back here on, uh, well, tomorrow and Thursday. I'll have those up for sure of what we're going to do because I'm moving a guest around here. We're going to have some fun coming up. We got some new things and some new features and stuff that are going to be coming to the show as well coming up. So stay tuned to Around the House. We're going to have some fun. One thing I'm going to tease you with, we're going to have a phone number coming up that is going to be a 24-7 phone number where you can call in and get your questions, we're going to call you back. So if you're listening to the podcast and you're like, oh, man, I got a question right now. Or I wish I was I was listening live so I could ask that yeah, question. Guess what? You're going to be able to call in and leave a message. We're going to call you back and put you into the show that way. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be for all you podcast listeners. And quite frankly, we've got new stations we're going to be adding on that are going to be tape delayed. This will fix that for you. So it'll actually make it so everybody can end up in the show and don't have to be worried about if you're on the East Coast, West Coast, or maybe you work nights. Maybe you're not, maybe you're sleeping during the show. Maybe you've got other things going. Maybe it's the summertime, you're out on your boat. So we're going to have some fun with that. That way, everybody can play a part in the show and we can help you get these projects finished up. All right. I'm Eric G. I'm Dane Vodder. Have a good week. See you on Saturday.